What is going on you guys? I am back today with another video for you all. This is Rage. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, in today's video, I am completing the rest of the villain's nodes leading up to farm Hella. Uh, I've finally been able to utilize a team that's been able to successfully complete her at three stars. So I'm hoping to show you guys that today. Um, so that will be the nodes villains uh, 7-4 to 7-6. And um, first and foremost though, if you haven't already, please smash that like button and subscribe for more future content and videos. I always appreciate you guys, so let's dive in. First and foremost, if we're taking a look at the roster that we're going to do um, for utilizing these three nodes, I have filtered it here from uh, Villains Mystic, and these are my top five for Villain Mystic as you can see at the top here. Um, just going through each character just to show you guys the upgrades. I do have Hela at tier 11. No T4 upgrades here, but fortunately the 4 red stars does push her to a 37k power level. Next I have Loki. He's also 37 due to the 4 red stars. And again, similar to Hela, no T4s and tier 11. I have Thanos as well to provide some tanking. Um, I did actually T4 his uh, passive as... The generation of the two ability energy um, for these allies does seem to be crucial in certain aspects. So I, I do like the extra generation of ability and I highly recommend it um, for that energy supplementation when you're going um, fighting through these nodes. And again, he's um, Thanos is only tier 9. I, I didn't feel the need to have to push him too much just because, uh, you know, um, at the end of the day, it is RNG getting the 3 stars. So um, he is fairly tanky already and I didn't really feel the need to upgrade his stats. It wasn't required. Next, I do have Mordo here. He's tier 10, um, a little squishier, so I figured I'd bump him up a little bit. I do actually have him in the five red stars, but unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to be able to really farm him. But, you know, that does def definitely does help in terms of boosting his stats a bit. And again, no T4s here. Lastly, I do have Juggernaut here at tier 9, um, 27, excuse me, 26k with the 3 red stars. And I haven't upgraded his abilities much as you're going to see in the nodes that um, he's really there just to kind of take damage. He doesn't really do much in terms of giving it out. So there you guys have it. These are the 5 I have. Um, now what I will say before I start is uh, I, I definitely seen teams with variations of the Yondu and Ronan. And um, I think those two would be the best substitutes for either Juggernaut or Thanos. Uh, for these three nodes, I highly recommend um, if you can get your hands on Hela, Loki, and Mortal. The combination of the three does provide a really high success rate for these nodes that you'll see. So I definitely recommend those three as essentials. Uh, whereas Thanos and Juggernaut can be swapped around with um, the villain mystics. And you guys can wiggle around with that. So just because of their the fact that you don't necessarily need them or their abilities. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie though, I am a big fan of Thanos' uh, um, energy supplement and it does prove to be quite useful. So let's get started here, you guys. So as you can see here, I have completed all three stars here going forward. Um, if you guys haven't already as well, I did uh, create videos for the first three nodes here using uh, my 120K aim power team. And um, now I should be able to show you guys with, uh, with uh, my Mystic Villains. Oh, we are on to the, finally the Hell Node. Um, this is the prize of them all, you guys. You know, I can't say enough about Hella. I know you guys have se se um, seen me harking over and over in my previous videos, but she is just such a great character in the end game. She's used in all nodes, um, DD3 as well. Yeah, DD2 for sure, you know, um, and, and honestly, she's part of the Asgardians team and her abilities, like, she doesn't even need to be in the Asgardians team, that's how useful she is, right? Like, look how useful she is here. Um, just her ability to be able to cast those negatives is, is just absolutely uh, devastating to enemies. So, uh, same positioning here, same team power, let's, uh, let's jump right into it then. Alrighty. Okay, okay. This is this is slowly coming back to me now because it did take me a little bit of time to three star this. Uh, hopefully, I can show you guys. You know that that is obviously the the goal here. But um, if not, worst case scenario, similar to everything else I've shown you guys, at least the strategy. Um, the key here is actually I've mentioned it before over and over, but Noble. He's always she's always such an issue just because she has the ability to cleanse. So 
Um, same approach as the other videos. I'm going to want to stun her because I do not. I want to take her down as soon as possible. Um, reason being as well, too, uh, you know, she can cleanse these uh, abilities on everyone, and I do not want that. Um, and the other thing to watch out for, too, is the guard on the left there does have a very early taunt. I do not use taunt from Thanos. The issue here is that I think most beginning players, uh, when they use taunt, what, what happens is these three cyborgs that you see, they gain offense up. And that is not what we want. So right here, I'm just going to keep using the basic attack. So for both Thanos and Juggernaut, you do not want to use the taunt. Um, in, especially in these, especially earlier in these nodes. I'm going to use Mortal's uh, heal block here to finish off Noble. And the, the key here is now, um, essentially, same strategies I've shown you guys before on my aim team. Um, you want to take these guys down slowly but surely. And you want to make sure that you don't kill any of them earlier than you should. Just because of the fact that um, the, no, the next wave does spawn. And if I recall correctly, again, I can't stress this enough, you guys here. Do not use the taunt. You know, you know, I, you know I can get, I almost got a little uh, too friendly there and hit it. But you want to make sure you don't hit that because of the fact that these cyborgs gain the offense up. And they actually, I believe they cleanse too. So you just want to make sure you don't do that because you could be in for some hurting if you do that. Oh darn, unfortunately, um, Thanos' reaction did take out that guy, so uh, that minion's down now, and you, as you can see here, Minerva's here, but, you know, I see the cyborg is pretty low, so I'm going to use my normal attack here just to take out another member. That's just another, you know, possibility that a minion doesn't do damage to us that we need. Uh, Minerva, I'm going to try to stun her as soon as possible, so I'm going to use Mortal. Didn't work. Um, as you can see, though, uh, everyone was blinded, and let's see here now, how many charges do I have? The instance I have three charges. Uh, I would say four to five charges is a good is a good time to use his ultimate. Uh, right now it's not a good time, so I'm just gonna keep generating that. And it looks like the uh, the royal the tree royal guard is actually gaining his taunt next turn too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna basic attack him. Okay. Um, like I said, he's gonna guard up soon regardless. But I'm gonna see if I can chip chip uh, Minerva down, and she is probably yep. Uh, she's going to revive Noble. And, oh gosh, we want to get rid of her again. Just because, like I said, you guys, she's just such a problem. Um, here, this is a great instance to use Thanos' ult. Just to replenish some HP and to hit everybody around him. So, that's a great time. I'm going to keep targeting Noble. And once Noble's down, uh, we're going to resume what we were doing before, which is uh, taking down Minerva. Now, this is a unique opportunity because I do see that they have an offense up, but now I actually want to cast the defense down on her just in the instance that one of those guys potentially can hit her with the offense up. That, unfortunately, didn't work for us. But I'm going to take down Noble. Hopefully that... Oh, gosh, that's close. There we go. Okay. I've just had enough about Minerva as well. I don't know about you guys, but... She's got to go down. Um, and at this point, I think Juggernaut's at four. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go for it. Yep, that takes her out of the game. And if I recall correctly as well, I believe the next minion that drops is also the next wave. So, you know, this is one of those times where, again, please refrain from using uh, any taunts. Mortal's down, unfortunately. But, you know, uh, we still have Loki and Hela, and that greatly increases their survivability. Now, the reason I don't want to use Hell is, um, I, I try not to use her ultimate here in these situations just because, like, when you want to spread a negative, right, you don't want to just use it to cast damage. You want to utilize it in optimal situations. And in this case, uh, no negatives to spread. I usually just conserve, conservatively use that ultimate when the time is right. So hopefully we don't kill the guard um, before his taunt's over because I would like to weaken everyone else around them just to increase that survivability percentage for us, right? Uh-oh, okay, but this might be a little close. Okay, there we go, we got it still, thankfully. Okay, perfect, and like I said, guys, we gotta just resume weakening these guys. It's it's very key for the next wave. How well you do in terms of containing these four can dictate uh, whether or not you even complete the node, just because of the fact that the next wave is, uh, is quite powerful as well. Now, this is a unique situation where, you know, there is two offense downs here. And if I do use Hell's ultimate, I'm able to take down two minions on the left. I, 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 I actually do want to capitalize that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, you guys. Perfect. And as you can see, now there's four extra minions, but the cyborg's very weak now. And, 
you know, the, the only other situation different about this is the fact that there is no other cyborg. So, I, you know what? This is where I would actually start taunting. As you can see, he gained the offense up, but now I'm going to finish him off. He's not even an issue anymore. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my taunts now to basically at this point, because Mortal's down, you know, I don't even care about the three stars anymore at this point. I just want to finish them though. You know, that's that's uh that's sometimes what you gotta live with, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, you guys, at least you can see how I complete these nodes with uh, these teams. But um, that that is the game plan. Uh, you just get better luck in certain nodes, and unfortunately, um, this one just did not work out for us. Oh gosh, this is uh this is looking pretty tight actually too. Just to give you guys a sense of how how difficult this node actually is, um, I'm actually still in shock that I was able to uh, three star this. This did take a few tries, so definitely, you guys, it's possible for sure, right? Um, as you can see, me finishing off this one, um, but you know, it's gonna take a little bit of luck and RNG, you guys, um, for absolutely, because I'm barely look look, I'm barely even finishing this one up. Thankfully. Uh, you know, Hela and Loki are tankier and they have the red stars to give them more stat boosts. But there you guys go. That's uh, that's officially a good game. Uh, I am very sorry that I was not able to show you guys uh, the three stars I was able to get before. But I kind of expected that because I have done it in the past before. But at the end of the day, at least you guys were able to see the strategy that I utilized for each of these respective nodes. And that is ultimately how I reached three stars for each of them. So again, um... Just as just to backtrack, give you guys an overview. Well, I've only played the game for a little bit over six months, and I've been able to com successfully complete this. So you guys should you have a have a much easier time if you either a have um, a higher team power than me, utilizing those nodes, and second of all, if you played the game longer, you had more materials, right? Um, this is just to help out beginners that haven't even started yet. But this gives you guys hopefully a game plan and kind of roadmap for how those uh, those um, nodes are completed. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I greatly, I always appreciate you guys checking out my uh, checking out my channel and taking a look at my videos. I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.